What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Mualim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejdud Din is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything. Only suspect. You must expect to be wrong. To have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They saw the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? We do! Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice! Who do you take yourself for? And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you, but I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, 
a gambler, a heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! Here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you.
Soldier, take you down! Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could. Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nutjobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy. Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. 
You just have to know where to look. Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus! Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. When the Animus shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should blend immediately. Even the slightest disturbance will attract his attention. Amin Altair, I trust you are well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land, and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. 